we're here at NAM 2009, and uh, I'm Rick Hofling with Sony Creative Software, and uh, we're just going to show you a couple of the new features in Acid Pro 7, uh, Sony's professional digital audio workstation. So, uh, the first major feature in Acid Pro 7 is its mixer. So Acid now has a total independent um, audio and MIDI mixing console. So you can set up um, different bus routings, um, hardware configurations, and um, you can ch choose to show all tracks, just audio tracks. Um, so it's a really good tactile way to emulate a hardware environment within Acid. So, uh, just going down the list of new features, uh, for those that want to get up and running with Acid, we have our new interactive tutorials. And this is a, a really good, helpful way for people to get you know, into Acid and start learning about it. So it'll step you through um, the creative process from beginning to end. So, essentially, everything from how to um, do certain event um, reverse, this one is particular, so um, it just steps you through the UI. Um, a couple of the other new features are uh, MIDI track freeze, so if you have a MIDI track with multiple uh, virtual um, instruments on it, you can freeze the MIDI track as such, and it'll render it out, and um, so you can play it back seamlessly with your project. Um, cross track event drag and drop, so you can actually take um, you know, different uh, parts of your project and drag it from one area to another. Um, the new plugin manager in Acid has been enhanced, and I'll just undock it for you here. So it shows you all your audio effects, favorites, soft synths, and different categories, and these are all customizable. So it makes you really able to um, organize your effects within Acid. Um, so say you have a project and you want to do some uh, processing, like normalizing, uh, invert phase. You can actually go directly on the WAV file, as you see here, and um, you can actually go in and um, you know, set different mute block, and uh, you can actually set invert phase directly on the track view, and uh, that allows you to actually go in and uh, work with Acid and not have to go into an external editor. Um, one of the other new features is uh, Elastic Pro Time Stretching and um, Z-Plane Elastic Pro is a, a really high quality algorithm. So it defaults to the uh, Elastic Efficient method here and allows you to really time stretch uh, events without minimal artifacts. Um, so, Besides the related to the mixer is uh, new input buses, uh, which allows you to route your project through uh, external hardware and real-time rendering, which will allow you to render your asset project through your favorite hardware, through your analog, you know, uh, hardware device, and actually get that uh, sound within your asset project rendered it out. So, um, Metrodome Countin is another new feature. If I could just grab that guitar over there. So what we'll do is we'll just RMA track for record here and here's the metronome count off and you can we'll just do a two bar count off we'll arm this track Let's see if I got some uh, have some um so let's see here if I'm on a different track there. It's on, I just, I'm gonna add a, um, an effect to this. I'm gonna add one of the new plugins that comes in with Acid. Um, Acid also comes with a Native Instruments guitar combos. It comes with the Garretton um, Aria Pro for Acid Pro Player. It comes with Submersible Music Kit Core, and it comes with Isotope Effects Rack. So it comes with about $500 worth of additional software. So it's basically, uh, that is uh, some of the new features in Acid Pro 7. So um, we have a fully functional uh, demo version available for download on sonycreativesoftware.com. And uh, check it out, it's a great digital audio workstation.